Okay, now we're gonna take our folded, our press and folded tie and stitch it. Now, uh, I'm gonna stitch along the edge and you could, use, you could use a straight stitch if you want to. My fold is not gonna be perfect. Uh, my you know, fabric was not probably cut perfectly straight, so I'm gonna use a zigzag, about a 4.5 zigzag stitch. I'm not gonna start right at the end. I'm gonna move up about an inch because sometimes uh, when you're sewing something narrow like this, it'll kind of cause your machine to snag when it gets started. So I'm just gonna uh, make a zigzag stitch. Just try to make sure that I catch both sides of the material. that raw edge too, just to keep it from raveling. Okay. Now, of course you can check it and make sure, see if there's any places that you didn't catch. And I'm gonna go back and finish that little end where I started. Finish out that end, rather. is a tie that won't come unravel. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like. If they can tie it around their head, it will serve the purpose. Okay, that's it. 16 inch tie for a fabric face mask. Four ties for each mask. And to make that tie, I just cut a one inch strip of, uh, well, I've got a video for that, I'll show you. So the first thing we're, to make the face mask, the first thing we're gonna do is take our two pieces of material and we're gonna put the right sides together. And we're gonna start on the nine inch side and we're gonna start about halfway and I'm making about a three eighth, about a quarter to a three eighth inch seam. Come on. And before I get to my corner, I'm going to take one of my ties, fit it into the corner, kind of angled. I hope you can see that okay. Put the fabric back down and come on and sew to the corner. Get to the corner I'm gonna stop turn and I'm gonna come down the six inch side make sure that my tie is out of the way and before I get to the corner I'm gonna take another tie And then sew on down to the corner, turn. Now I'm gonna sew, now I'm gonna keep my ties, make sure that they're out of the way. Come on down and sew along the nine inch side. Stop. Take another tie. that in the corner. So on down to the corner. Stop and turn. Make 
make sure I keep all those ties out of the way. Now I'm on my six inch side. And now I'll stop and put in my last tie. And sew on down to the corner and turn. Now I wanna leave a bit of an opening, uh, kind of keep my ties out of the way. I have to leave an opening on that nine inch side so that I can turn the face mask. So I'm just gonna come on and stitch another inch or so and stop right there. Now I'm gonna turn my face mask Get the right side out. And you can make that opening as large as you want. Just don't make it too small. Don't make it too hard to turn. Okay, so there's your opening. We're gonna close that later, but we're not gonna close it right now. And there's your ties, one in every corner. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, add a chenille stem to make a nose piece where they can crimp that over their nose. We're gonna take a four inch piece of chenille stem. And we're gonna find our center point on our mask. And we're gonna measure about two inches away from that. And this is just to mark the mask. I'm not, uh, not pinning it together, I'm just getting a mark where I'll know to put my casing. So I'm gonna sew a little casing here to hold the chenille stem. And I'm just gonna come about, make about a five, eight, five eighths inch seam, start where my pin is. And I'm gonna turn, come down about a quarter of an inch. Turn again. And I'm gonna sew back to my beginning point. And I'm gonna leave this end open. Now, I'm gonna, if, I'm gonna say this is the front side, it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna take a seam ripper and I'm gonna open up just one layer of that fabric. Be careful not to go all the way through your fabric. Just gonna open that up enough to slide that chenille stem in. Take that chenille stem and fold it down just a little bit. I'm hoping that, that folding that down won't cause that uh, hoping it won't work out and stick anybody. And then we're gonna just slide the chenille stem into the casing. Put it all the way in there so this area right here, you don't feel the chenille stem. So now I'm just gonna sew over that little opening with just, you know, just stitch it a couple of times just to close that up. So if we were gonna have a right and a wrong side, that would be our wrong side. 
So now, we're gonna make our tucks. Now when I made a face mask the other day, I had my opening on the bottom. It really doesn't matter, you know, whether it's on the top or the bottom. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is do our tucks. And they do need to all be going in the same direction. So this is the top of my mask. I'm gonna make a tuck or just a pleat, make the first one. It helps me to put a pin in the center and then put my pins out to the edge. Now, this is not sewing 101. I know my pins are uh, not in the typical direction to stitch, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm gonna pull these pins out before I stitch over it, or they won't be in won't be in my way. Usually they're like perpendicular, I know. But, so another tuck. Pinning them like this just kind of helps me keep this even. You may not even have to pin. But we're gonna put three tucks in each mask. Try to keep them all the same size. They're not exactly, but that's that's okay. When we unpin it, it it will still work. Okay, so now we're gonna make about a quarter inch seam all the way around the mask. And I'm just gonna start right along the top of the mask, not at the very top. And I'm gonna sew about a quarter of an inch or quarter to three eighths. I'm gonna come over those pins, okay? Just kind of come over those kind of slow. Just, you know stuck myself. These are dressmaker pins. They're easier for me to handle. Uh, they're longer, but you do have to be careful. So come down to a quarter, quarter to three eighths away from the bottom. Turn. Any trouble with pins, just slip them out as you go. Don't want to break a needle. Stop here. Of course, I can clip all these strings when we're done. I do like to keep the threads out of my way as much as I can. Now, we're going to take our mask and we're going to go all the way back around it with a stitch on the edge. Just reinforce your ties too. And 
Well, also remember we closed <laughs> our little opening that we had at the top of our mask. I didn't even show you that, I'm sorry. Too far there. But our opening was right along in here and the main thing that you want to do is just make sure that you have your uh, edges turned to the inside. And they were, we caught them with that uh, stitch, that quarter inch stitch. And back around to our starting place. Just go ahead and come on down a little bit further. Okay, so just clip your strings. Now you've got a face mask with 16 inch ties uh, and you have a little crimp for the nose piece. And that's it. There'll be a blog post for this also that you can read. Uh, I'll just finish clipping my strings and get back to work. See y'all next time.